We are for the first time in Vietnam and we'll start our adventure from Ho Chi Minh City, formerly called Saigon, the biggest city of Vietnam. Our plan is to visit the main attractions but also some hidden gems in just 4 days. Of course we'll be sharing a lot of tips and tricks on the way, so let's get started right away. I am Travel and Tell No One and I would ask you to please subscribe. This will help the channel grow and will make you the first to see the best travel destinations around the world. We have just landed to Ho Chi Minh or Saigon. We had a very short flight with Malaysia Airlines. It was about one hour and a half. Now we need to queue here. We have just taken our visa right behind us. Uh, it was an easy process. It was like uh, 10 minutes waiting in the queue. They just stamp your passport. Uh, but what you need to know is that you need to apply in advance for an e-visa. Yes. And uh, when you arrive here, you just stamp it. That's it. And you have to choose between single entry and or multiple entries. Uh, it will be either $25 or $50. a lot of exchanges when you exit the airport and also a lot of SIM cards but we will buy them from the city center just arrived at our hotel first impression the traffic is crazy here <laughs> like you can see scooters everywhere and they don't have like any rules we got a bit scared with the traffic but now that we are in our hotel we feel a bit more comfortable <laughs> and safe yeah i think it was really crowded because it's saturday night and yes. everybody's going out on a weekend every vietnamese is on the street the accommodation is called Woody and I think I understand why. It's all wood. A lot, a lot of wood. Room tour! <laughs> this is the kitchen. It's very small kitchen. Kitchenette. <laughs> Kitchenette, yeah. But it's okay. We won't cook anyway, so we don't mind. Yes, we are here for the street food. We also have an iron. I like it when we have an iron. Magic happens when uh, you <laughs> click. Wow. We have a window, but... Have a window, but just if you're tall. <laughs> Let's see the bathroom. Let's see the bathroom. This is it. Tones. Yeah, it's small, but... The shower is uh, okay. We can enter inside. We had worse. <laughs> <laughs> and it smells very good. It smells like, I don't know, candies or something. Merry Christmas, everyone. Podibo Buivian Walking Street. Saturday night. Can you a bit uh, tell us what we should visit, what it's important to visit? First of all, number one city home, uh, I send you uh, um, a hmm? gift. Gift? Yeah. Uh, <laughs> how nice of you. Do you. It's for me? Thank you. Thank you so much. Yeah. 
I just received a gift from the information center in Ho Chi Minh. People are so lovely here. Wow, so nice. This is how he will walk the whole day. <laughs> but it's good because it's very hot today, so he needed a hat. We got the city map and we have plenty of places to see today. It's midday and it's pretty hot, so we will go to Remnant's museum to cool down and explore the history of Ho Chi Minh and Vietnam. There is a bit of a queue here. We got our ticket. It was very cheap, around two dollars to see the museum. Formerly known as the Museum of Chinese and American War Crimes, the museum deals with the American War, but the French colonial period and conflicts with China are also documented. Heavy artillery here at War Museum. Well, in a real war, this machine would be crucial for a Vietnamese uh, army. US armored vehicles, artillery pieces, bombs, infantry weapons are on display outside. Here is a guillotine of 4.5 meters, weight of the blade 50 kilograms. One building reproduces the tiger cages in which the South Vietnamese government kept political prisoners. Other exhibits include graphic photography accompanied by a short text in English, Vietnamese and Japanese covering the effects of Agent Orange and other chemical defoliant sprays, the use of napalm and phosphorus bombs and war atrocities such as the My Lai Massacre. The War Remnants Museum is currently one of the most popular museums in Vietnam, attracting approximately half a million visitors every year. Such a feeling. <laughs> the War Museum was a bit shocking for us, I can tell you this. Uh, we learned that it was the war between the North and the South, and the North was uh, held by the Russians and the South was held by Americans. It was pretty harsh. 20 years lasted this cruel war where uh, more than 1 million Vietnamese have died and over 60,000 uh, Americans died. Really sad, especially for me seeing all these pictures and how the people have suffered during the war and the consequences of the war. Uh, I can't even imagine how they felt and how the families were feeling back then. It's really sad, and I think we we just can realize that some people have lived that. It seems like unreal to us. It was just. 50 years ago, so uh, nowadays almost. But yes, let's uh, visit uh, uh, the city center, the Independence uh, Square and the Palace and Notre Dame. Let's go! We just arrived at the Independence Palace. Uh, the entrance was 40k, which is around two dollars, so very cheap as well. And we can visit one building, the main building, which is fine. This building represents the end of the war. In 1975, a North Vietnamese tank entered through these gates and declared the fall of Saigon. I love how it looks from outside, but let's see how is it inside. What did you find out? So, state banquets with as many as 100 guests were held in this room. Here comes Trevor and Del Noan. <laughs> People of Saigon will be free and liberated. This is the presidential office. 
Now I know that the president would not stay in the traffic jam of Saigon. You will find plenty of parks across the city, being a great opportunity to cool down and have a break, enjoying the nature or kids having fun. We are in a beautiful park. It's uh, a bit of shadow and we enjoy it because it's really hot. There are 30 degrees Celsius and more. It will be 35 degrees today. But luckily we have our traditional hat and we have good mood and let's travel and tell no one. Let's visit the city center. Notre Dame is under renovation, but let's see if we can enter inside. We are not allowed to visit it at this time because it's a celebration inside, but we'll try maybe later. Right across Notre Dame is the office post and hopefully we will have more luck and enter inside. The magnificent Saigon Central Postal Office, Vietnam's largest post office and oldest colonial structure, is a vital part of Ho Chi Minh City's values. Despite having been in operation for more than 100 years, Saigon Central Post Office's enduring beauty has not faded over time. It features a distinctive mix of elegant French architecture and artistic Asian elements. Inside the Saigon Central Post Office, look for the two painted maps that were created just after the post office was built. We are at Book Street right after a rain and uh, we are by ourselves right now because people were scared by the rain and also the books. No bikes here, no motorcycles, no smoke. The street has more than 20 bookstores with unique designs displaying and selling countless bookings in various fields and authors. A great place to spend an hour relaxing away from the traffic of the city. You will also find here very nice bars and cafes, as well as a few benches to lean on in peace. You will also find some non-trivial souvenirs. The street is open from 8 am to 10 pm. If you're a book lover, this place is worth a visit. The book street was uh, really nice, it was not crowded because of the rain and we saw a lot of nice books and we learned also a nice quote. It says like this, our life changes through the people we meet and by the books we read. I love that one. Uh, yes, we resonate so with that. We just saw the city hall and now we are walking in this park. Nguyen Hu Street has a wide strip in the middle devoted to pedestrians, with vehicles driving around it. We are in the point zero of Ho Chi Minh or Saigon and it is full, full of people. It's Sunday night, it started raining and everyone has sheltered. It starts with the city hall and goes up until the river on the other side. It's really nice here in the city center of Saigon. There are a lot of people today because it's Sunday. It rained a little bit but now uh, it's very hot and we are ready to enjoy the night. It's a real adventure to cross the streets in Vietnam. Oh my gosh, it's, it's, it's crazy, it's just crazy. <gasps> they don't stop. Cars and scooters just don't stop. <laughs> Even though you're on a zebra, nothing happens. So you happens. need to cross how? Oh, you need to show like your hand like this. Like, I'm crossing the street, I'm crossing the street. <laughs> okay, we're learning just our second day here but I'm sure after two weeks and a half we will get better at this <laughs> 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 
At the end of Nguyen Street, we discovered a cute park with a spectacular view of the river. We enjoyed the area and the surroundings until we got hungry and discovered that we didn't have any Vietnamese dong left. Agribank has the best fee when you are withdrawing money. So we recommend you once you find one bank like that in Vietnam to withdraw money from here. If not, the other banks are more expensive and they will take you higher fee. Uh, for example, in this case, we uh, withdraw 2 million and we had a fee for 20, 20k only, so that's very good. And now we are going to Benge Street Food to um, try something new. Right from the start, we felt in love with this place. Vibrant with live band and delicious smells were filling our nostrils. We didn't want to jump directly on the first food stall, although it was very tempting, so we made an exploratory tour first. By the way, if you are a food lover, in the next coming days I will publish an entire video just with Ho Chi Minh food, so it's important to subscribe now so that you will not miss it. We chose seafood appetizers and mango sticky rice, a famous dish in Thailand, and a local beer. After that, directly to bed. Mariaman Hindu temple was our first attraction of the day. We've learned that the chief deity of the temple, Sri Mariaman, is associated with the sustaining and life-giving properties of rain. She is also worshipped for her powers in curing epidemic diseases such as cholera. We have arrived at Ben Ta Market. As you can see, it's in the middle of the city. The skyscrapers are behind and this is a big market here in Ho Chi Minh. Let's go inside and see what we can buy. How much is one king juice? Sure, can get 15,000 with I. 15? Yes, one five. Yeah, can I have one? One. I bought this nice purse. They asked for 500 and I negotiated to 230. <laughs> that was the last price. But it's very cute, right? I love it. Yeah. Take in mind that Ben Ta Market is open from 6 a.m. to 6 p.m. As we weren't aware of the schedule, we came here the previous night, but it was closed. We feel like in Grand Bazaar in Istanbul. It's full, full of shops. You can find everything here from food, souvenirs, clothes, you name it, everything. Let's play. Aww. Let's see if he wins something sweet to eat. Ready? <laughs> we catch it and then throw it away. Not a good game. Not they a cheat. good idea to gamble, even they with cheat. sweets. Let's go and buy something uh, from the 7 Eleven. Saigon Central Mosque or Jamia al Musulman Majid is one of the 12 mosques in the city. Remember to wear with respect, no tank tops, no short skirts, and take off your shoes before entering the mosque. This mosque is dated back from 1935 and it is amazing because of this beautiful green color. We 
just arrived at Ho Chi Minh Museum. Let's see what's inside. I think this museum is more interesting because we can see their traditions and their culture. Ho Chi Minh Museum is a grand neoclassical structure built in 1885 and once known as Jia Long Palace. It's telling the story of the city through archaeological artifacts, ceramics, old city maps and displays of the marriage traditions of its various ethnicities. As you can see some traditional uh, clothes here and the way they live. How is it? Do you like it? Yes, we really enjoy it. We learn a lot of history. We didn't expect to see so much history in yeah. here. But it is. And I know that someone is very passionate about history. Yeah, <laughs> Vietnam is full of history. Oh, this one is so cute. Here are the tools of the old vloggers. The struggle for independence is extensively covered, with most of the upper floor devoted to it. An interesting fact is that deep beneath the building is a network of reinforced concrete bunkers and fortified corridors. It's now time to go with the water boat. As we wanted to explore other parts of the city, the water bus was the most convenient way to do that. We just caught the water bus and we are going for 10 minutes yes. to the first station and then we will come back here. Yes, it was like 30,000 uh, dong uh, round trip, about one dollar and a half. Very cheap. We were impressed of the numerous skyscrapers and the whole infrastructure of the city. And I need to admit that we didn't expect to find such a highly developed city. After so many wonderful attractions, a foot massage was the best way to end our night and our stay in Ho Chi Minh. Laura is already enjoying the massage before even starting. <laughs> We just finished our massage, our foot massage. Oh my god, it was amazing. I think one of the best foot massages that I had until now. We are so relaxed wow. right now that uh, we want just to sleep to end the night. It's uh, 10 p.m. and we are already thinking of sleeping because uh, of the amazing uh, foot massage from Zen Spa. There are so many, so many spas here in Ho Chi Minh, but we highly recommend the Zen Spa where we went. It was very good, very, very, very good. good. And the place is pretty crowded, so maybe you need to wait a few minutes or maybe to get an appointment or something, but it's really worth it. Yes, definitely. And this is all for today. See you in the morning. Let's go to sleep. Wow. What an incredible city we've discovered here in the south of Vietnam. As we didn't have high expectations, this city has conquered our hearts. We felt the kind energy of the people, shocked of the traffic and the vibrance of the city, and delighted by various attractions available. It's a walkable city, but be mindful of the temperature that can rise to 35 degrees Celsius or above. We believe that it's one of the cheapest cities we've ever been, and although this video does doesn't include anything related to food, we totally loved and enjoyed the local treats. More than that, we will create a dedicated video with what to eat and drink in Ho Chi Minh, plus a dedicated video for a visit to Kuchi Tunnels. All the reasons to subscribe and follow our channel. We are Travel and Tell No One, thank you for watching, comment below for any help you need from our side and see you in the next one.